Well, just a moment. Um, can I ask you guys something? Because I'm pretty nervous. Just to breathe with me, you know? One deep breath. Thank you. Well, I come from a good family. My mom and dad were great doctors. They did a lot of social work, helped a lot of people in need. I am the youngest of four siblings, and we had everything. That's what I was told. But the truth is that my father, he behaved like a big brother, a bully. Um, he had sexual compulsion. He wanted to get divorced, but my mom wanted to keep the family together. So he sexually abused me, and my mom didn't know. The result was I had my life stolen by a disease that today is the major cause of a disability, according to the World Health Organization. I had depression, um, social phobia, compulsion, etc., etc., etc. And for you to have a clue how bad I felt, um, picture right now the most important person to you in the world. This person dies suddenly. Imagine the morning feelings, the pain for losing someone you love so much. I felt them all the time, but no one had died. So that's why at the age of 12, I started drinking and smoking to relieve those painful feelings because I didn't know anything else that would do. And when I tried to talk to the adults, hear what they told me. You have everything. Children in Africa have nothing to eat, so you have to think positive, value life. You're so lucky, pray. And then I felt more guilty and ashamed of myself for feeling bad and not having enough willpower to change that. And I wish I were anyone but me. So I pretended that everything was fine. So at age of 17, all I wanted was to be normal, to fit in. And I didn't have energy to brush my teeth. They are very white, but you know. Anyway, um, and I, I really wanted to be part of society, so I felt guiltier for not having energy to study, work, become someone. And then when I was in college and I listened to people making plans, uh, talking about career and the future, and you know, all the plans, traveling, all I wanted was to die. But then finally, at the age of 18, the relief, I was diagnosed with depression. Then the, psychiat the psychiatrist gave me a lot of medications, I started doing therapy, and after a couple of months, I was feeling worse. Yeah. And then, all I wanted, you know, was a miracle pill, something that made the pain go away. And I had to deal not only with the disease, but people prejudices. Because I'm not a catadora, but I was invisible. You know, the disease was invisible. And being a suicide survivor, so it sucked. Because I was already dead anyway. All I wanted was to kill the pain. But then, after 10 years struggling to find the right treatment, I finally came across integrative medicine that combines conventional medicine and alternative medicine. And thanks to great therapists, I could set off on the inside journey. And then I found out that all the craziness that my mind went through weren't at all because of my father's abuse. But the problem was, I was never listened. No one ever listened to me. Uh, when I would talk about my feelings and emotions, I was always, you know, my mom would always come with judgments and comparisons. And I love my mom very much. 
and I never, never doubted her love. I know she loves me very much, but love without awareness hurts. And awareness was the main thing and ease that made me feel good. Thanks to meditation techniques, I could get to know myself, my deepest being. And then that's why I found it, you know, what could, can anything else I could do in my life. I found it an NGO to help people and to try to lessen society prejudice and stigmas on mental disorders. And depression became a great master. So if you have a mental disorder, because it's very common nowadays, one in four of us will have something set off on your inside journey. And if you are normal, you should also set off on your inside journey. Because people in a society where one billion people go hungry every day, while one third of the food is wasted, something is pretty wrong. And listening tonight, all the other speakers, everything comes down to one thing, awareness. If I'm aware, you are aware, he's aware, then we can change the world, we can save the planet, we can, you know, cure us all. Thank you for listening.